So today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a crush sleeve eliminator. This is a crush sleeve and this is the eliminator. Now they come in different sizes, um, different thicknesses and different shapes for your particular axle. This one's for a Dana 44 but this works the same for every axle. Um, as you can see this is not tapered or anything on one end. just a solid chunk of pretty much tubing and this is the same way the Dana 44 crush sleeve is. Now when it comes to the Dana 30 crush sleeve there's a certain way that it goes on and if you put it backwards as you can see that's backwards because you can't get your outer bearing on. You have to actually put it on like this. So if you get a Dana 30 crush sleeve eliminator, always remember the bigger part goes down towards the bearing. Um, and then you'd put your, I put my shims right here and then put this uh, crush sleeve eliminator on. So if you have a crush sleeve eliminator for a Dana 30, the bigger part goes towards the gear. So you'd put your shims on first and then put your crush sleeve eliminator on works for every crush sleeve eliminator this process a lot of videos on YouTube don't really show you they just skip around and they tell you to add a bunch of shims um, the instructions tell you the same thing pretty much they can be pretty uh, intimidating but I'm just going to make it simple and show you the easiest way to actually do it so you're gonna need a caliper measuring tool. All right, so we have our crush sleeve and our shims. First off, you wanna measure your crush sleeve and see what it is and see what it was when I took it out. And then we wanna measure the crush sleeve eliminator and write that down. We're going to go ahead and measure the shims that came in the pack. And after we got that done, I'll mark all the shims on it so I know which one's what, so it's not laying here on the paper getting scooted around. So I'll take a black marker and mark the size of that. So we'll go ahead and put it the crush sleeve eliminator all together and do the measurements and all that. So the pinion preload will be set just right. Measurement of the old crush sleeve and it's uh, 0.577 and the new crush sleeve without any shims is 0.515. So what we're gonna do is take 577 minus 515 and that's how many shims we're going to need, so six two thousandths. So I'm going to write this down so I know. And your shim pack might not be perfect, so it might be up a little bit a number, but it won't hurt it. So right there is 62, 5. make sure I make a record of all this stuff and I'll actually put this in the glove box of the Jeep so it's either going to come out 577 uh, or 578 either one is acceptable because it's not a real big number because your shim pack isn't going to be perfect so let's see what we got here so we got 578 so that is perfectly fine I'm just a little bit higher than the old crush sleeve by just a hair and that's okay you're not going to get it perfect so the old measurement compared to the new measurement is not off by much and this will be fine um, that's what a lot of youtubers don't explain to you is 
they'll get a measurement and try to match it perfectly and they don't and they cut the video and go ahead and skip to a measurement like this. It's acceptable to go one number up but it, um, if it's outrageous like this that's not acceptable. You can't use that. That's too much preload and it'll burn your bearings up. We're at it's perfect. It's a perfect measurement. Like I said it's just a hair over and it won't hurt it. Um, we are putting new bearings and stuff in. It's not an outrageous amount of preload that's going to burn your bearings up. It's uh, Honestly, when you're setting a crush sleeve, you're not getting it perfect every time. You're just going uh, between a manufacturer's uh, specification, and that's what we're doing here, and this will totally work fine for that. Your crush sleeve goes like that. Take that off, and you put your crush sleeve eliminator. Um, it's not that hard. Just make sure you get it right. Like I said, you can go up a number. Uh, it won't hurt, um, but you don't want to go under. You don't want to undersize it because it'll be loose. I'd rather have it just a hair too tight um, than too loose. But like I said, this li this little amount of measurement that we got, just a hair bigger, ain't even going to make a difference. You're not even going to notice it.